Hello everybody and welcome back to another build on Spell Slam. Today we're going back in time to look at a deck that I've played in the past called Beasts, which is loosely based on the Beast Tribal Archetype. And really, the only card that we're running that cares about beasts is Wirewood Savage. This is a 3-mana 2-2 elf creature that has whenever a beast enters the battlefield, you may draw a card. So this can generate a lot of card advantage. We've got a ton of beasts in the deck. We're starting off our beasts with Slippery Bogle, a 1-mana one 1-1 one with Hexproof. In the 3-drop slot, we've got Aura Gnarled, which is a 3-mana 2-2 two -two with creatures with power less than Aura Gnarled's power, can't block it, and it also gets its own personal ethereal armor, which means that Aura Gnarled gets plus 1, plus 1 for each Aura on the battlefield. We've also got in the 4-drop slot, Primal Hunt Beast, a 4-mana 3-3 three -three with Hexproof, Blastoderm, which is a 4-mana 5-5 five -five with Shroud, which means it can't be the target of spells or abilities, period, and it also has Fading 3, which means that it comes into play with 3 Fading Counters on it, during your upkeep, we have to remove a fading counter. If we can't, we have to sacrifice it. This means that Blaster gets in for three attacks. You've also got the brand new Voracious Typhon, which is a four mana 4-4 four, four with escape. So if it's in our graveyard, we can pay seven mana, exiling four other cards from our graveyard to play it directly from our graveyard. And it also escapes with three plus one plus encounters. So it turns into a 7-7, seven, seven, which is huge. And it'll give us a lot of staying power in our deck. In order to ramp out all of those fatties, we've got 15 forests, two tranquil thickets. Our ramp is the typical Arbor Elf, Utopia Sprawl, and Wild Growth Package, which allows us to, first of all, completely circumvent the two drop slot and play three drops and four drops. And it also allows us to occasionally have four mana on turn two by playing an Arbor Elf on turn one, on turn two having Utopia Sprawl or Wild Growth, and then tapping, then untapping that land to play our Primal Hunt Beasts or Blastoderms or Voracious Typhons or uh, Wirewood Savage into Slippery Bogle, for instance. There's lots to be done with this package and it's extremely powerful in our deck. Now you'll have noticed that we're playing a lot of creatures that have Hexproof, and Aura Gnarla cares about auras. This is because we are building our deck with Utopia Sprawl and Wild Growth, and we are also adding to that a very small enchantment package. We've got four copies of Rancor, which is a one mana aura, which has enchanted creature gets plus two plus zero and has trample, and it also comes back to our hand whenever the creature dies and Rancor goes to the graveyard. We've got three copies of Ancestral Mask, which is a three mana aura, the enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two for each other enchantment on the battlefield. And remember, this counts our wild growths and utopia sprawls and all other rankers and whatever else we have. We've also got two copies of Elephant Guide, tried and true in the Stompy archetype. We've got this in our deck. It gives the enchanted creature plus three, plus three. And when the enchanted creature dies, we get to create a 3-3 three, three elephant creature token to keep the pressure on. Ancestral Mask in particular is gonna be extremely powerful in this deck and will allow us to finish games out of nowhere. In the sideboard, We've got two copies of Relic of Progenitus, three copies of Masked Vandal, which is a beast because it has Changeling, which means that it will trigger Wirewood Savage and draw us a card when it comes into play. And on top of that, when it enters the battlefield, we can exile a creature card from our graveyard. And if we do, we get to exile an artifact or enchantment an opponent controls. And this is a two mana, one three. We've also got three copies of Moments Peace, two copies of Ram Through to finish off those games where the board is stalled out or they're casting Fogs or Stonehorn Dignitary. We've got two copies of Cartouche of Strength, which is a little bit of removal for us. It's a three mana enchantment and it has that creature fight a creature an opponent controls and it gives it plus one plus one in Trample. That Trample is also gonna be good at triggering Ram Through since none of our creatures naturally have Trample. We've got our fourth copy of Ancestral Mask in the sideboard, as well as two copies of Serrated Arrows. This is a four mana artifact that enters the battlefield with three arrowhead counters on it. During our upkeep, if we have no arrowhead counters on Serrated Arrows, we must sacrifice it, and you can tap and remove an arrowhead counter from it to put a minus one minus one counter on target creature, which will be very, very good at killing all sorts of fairies and unflipped delvers, or weakening certain creatures so that they can be blocked more easily. It's a very, very good card all around. So that is Beasts. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the games.